Well, welcome. Normally, I build from time to time, the very first of the month, there is always an Arch Linux ISO present. Now, Arch Linux is a bit specific because what we want you to do is learn, gradually learn and gradually get to know an Arch based system. I always say we learn you, we teach you Linux and we happen to be an Arch Linux and your knowledge of XFCE or Plasma can be used on Red Hat, on SUSE or whatever. Plasma is Plasma and so on. So many things, many handles that we give to you are exactly the same on other distributions. The thing is, and we'd like you to learn gradually and that's we call that the learning path small steps baby steps then you walk get a bit faster and then maybe you can run and maybe later on a marathon and maybe create your own iso your own distribution it's all possible it's a question of years dedication motivation time right now arsha links is one of the is in, in our learning phase is is at the end right phase seven because arch Linux is black screen <laughs> it's uh, you need to figure everything out and there is a guide yes sure there is a guide but there is also a guide from us which is the arclinuxd.com phase seven the menu there that's our guide so from time to time we're making videos based on the arch linux iso and it's all Arch Linux guys, all of this, all these guys, for me, it's just the same thing, right? It's a different source, a different design, different options, but in the end, it's for me, Linux and Arch Linux, right? So in here is the latest download from 2024, 0101, look at the date. Open, and then you boot. And you watch a lot of videos and say okay what do i need to choose here 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 what choose the other one is a screen reader so if you're not uh, disabled or how you say that uh, has a lesser view then a screen reader is not necessary but arch is arch right one of the tips is be not too fast System D status system CTL status. Oh my god, now I'll be too late. Status pack man. Voila, not too late. This is not finished. You can't install anything. The Pacman initialization service has not completed. You get errors when you try to install things. Now it's okay that's the best tip ever in the beginning of the video already next tip is since we are already sudo we don't need to type sudo but you can type sudo if you forget nano and then whoa let's first play get my keys so load keys pe let them one that's something you need to figure out online on the arch wiki there's de there's be Latin one here, there is UK, there is US. So you need to find out what's the keyboard I'm using. I'm uh, using an Azerti keyboard. Check. So second thing I'd like to change before I do anything is the Pacman configuration file. So the package manager or the Pacman still says after all these years, no parallel downloads. I know that my system is so quickly online with 20 parallel downloads. That means that he'll try to download 20 things at the same time. Doesn't work very fast if you have very big files, but the Linux is filled with little files of kilobytes and, and so that goes quickly. That's what I want, a super fast download, super fast installation. This configuration is gone, right? On the other system, after rebooting, this is gone. I need to reset it. But here on the live DVD, live ISO, yes, it will apply it. So, arch install is our script. 
There's another way is typing everything. Typing everything is really a bottleneck if you don't know what you're doing, right? The first time ever on Linux and you need to go type commands. Well, so Arch install is there to help us. Install your language. English is good for me. Mirrors, mirror region, slash, and then I go for Sweden. Sweden has Osbeck. Osbeck is good for me. So after years, you know where you can actually get your fastest downloads. Keyboard layout. Here we go. BE Latin one. Thank you. So here you can find these letters, these things that you need to find. It's in here somewhere. Maybe you recognize your own keyboard. Just a quick look. All right. There's UK, US, escape. I'm gonna keep it like this in English. All good, back. This configuration, use best effort. Let him do his choice in X4, please. This encryption, no, thank you. System D boot. If you're on VirtualBox, do System D boot. If you're on real metal, you can do Grub or uh, these guys. I've done a test, I believe this one, and that failed a month ago or so. Maybe it works again. So this one worked, I believe. And this one will fail in VirtualBox, and this one will work in VirtualBox. Unified kernels, false, swap true. It's uh, not necessary. We are on a virtual machine. The memory is the memory it has. Root passwords. Then a new user. Thank you. And confirm profile desktop minimal x server or just x org for the beginners please take the desktop and choose something not the tiling window manager not this one not that one this is okay this is okay cute fish is okay deeping is okay enlightenment is okay you know don't use hyperlint it needs a config don't do i3 it needs a config kd is okay lxqt i don't know never done that might be okay i'll say then <laughs> Mate, okay, Qtal, no, Sway, no, XFC4, yes. By default, I'll take this guy always. And then later on, i3 can go a lot come because um, i3, awesome, BSP, WM, i3, the Qtal, and all these guys, they hyperlink as well. They use parts of XFC like Thunar. So I can add them to the list. I can use another greeter, GDM, LightDM, Slick Greeter. Let's see how that looks by default. Okay, so LightDM Sleek Reader has changed. There's Light, there's SDM as well. Back, audio, two choices Arch Linux Wiki, Pipewire, Read, by Pulse Audio, Read. It's a choice. Same here, another kernel. Why not? Let's take Zen. Oops. Let's take Zen. Nah, can we get rid of this one? Okay, let's see if that works. Never tried that. So each time I try something different, but as you can see, the Linux kernel, I think we need to keep both. Let's see. Right, Linux, Linux, then. Additional packages, uh, I don't know, new fetch. And a network configuration, use the network manager, time zone, probably gonna be wrong. So Brussels, voila. And we're going to install, enter, enter. I look at the speed, so 20 parallel downloads. The time is 16.04. There's always at least 10 things busy. But the big guys, of course, they take time. Time to 
get some soup. We're nearing freezing time in Belgium. You see the trim, enabling periodic trim, FS trim tire, something to take a look at. Arch wiki, trim, read. And that's the fun of Arch Linux, right? This is the wiki. There are other wikis, like Gen2 wiki is also informative. And Ubuntu is another way of approaching things as very professional answers and questions of users. Many things have been explained to me on Ubuntu website and then I've applied it to Arch. So don't think in a box. It's not about Arch so I can't read it. Read everything. Right? It's Linux. Done. Four I said right? It's 1606 now. How fast is that? Would you like to shoot? No we say and then we say exit I guess or reboot well it's installed we have an operating system installed how crazy is that so we've got all this because of my selection mm -hmm. all right let's go for the Arch Linux Zen system deboot is never colorful grub is nice beautiful and this is the slick reader without a pass and a wallpaper yet but you can add a wallpaper if you like. And the rest is just business as usual, right? This can be applied, can be done on any Linux system out there. Make sure you have the right settings of your screen, apply it, keep it, close it, and that's it. Next video, maybe I'll, I'll run some more things because this is the basis. From here, you can make this into an Endeavor OS or a Garuda or an Arch Linux or an Arch Craft or any of the Arch guys, because this is typically the basis of what you need. And yeah, what do you want more? All right, just personal preference. What do you want more? These are all the Packages installed at this point in time. You can freeze the video. It's okay. Fine. Can make this maybe bigger. No, nope. no possibility to make this bigger. That's the way. So again, so a lot of XFC4 stuff. That's the uh, the, the group and package XF, XFCE4 and XFCE4 goodies and it includes also the burn here this includes some drivers that probably you don't need so if you don't have an amd or an ati you can get rid of it if you're on real metal you can get rid of the vmware and stuff like that so it's still up to you to see okay on my machine i don't need this i don't need that thunar is what we'll need on all our tiling window managers so that's good. Pipewire bits have been installed. I don't know what I selected, but Pulse Audio might be there as well. Don't recall what I selected, but they coexist, exist, but one takes control or the other one. Here's the Linux kernel, libraries. Might be interesting to see the list at some point in time when you realize what is installed on Arch Linux. At least at this point in time, 2024-0101, then this was the content of an Arch Linux ISO installation. And I must find 
Neo fetch must be in there, right? Well, let's just do it and end with it. Neo fetch. There you go. Still a little bit bigger. <laughs> Where is the minus? Uh -huh. Getting bigger and bigger and bigger. Ah, there's the button. Here he is. Voila. Let's end with that. Just look at the number of packages. But of course, we don't have much, right? We don't have much. Last thing I do, that's what you get. All right, cheers.